Okay, so Bob's doing some turning on the lathe right now for the lamp project with the resin. And we got a bunch of fun slow motion beauty shots at the beginning, but it's a long process to turn down this thing because it's really bulky. So maybe I'll give you a little behind the scenes sneak on just what goes on when we're waiting on a long process that doesn't need the entirety of it shot. So let's go in the shot and take a look. It is kind of scary. All right, have fun. All right. Let's see what Josh does when we have to wait on things like this. Typical whiteboard. I'm getting the leather chair video ready to release. Hey, that comes out today. Yeah, it's gonna come out in about 40 minutes. Sweet. So I'm finishing up all of the stuff that has to happen so that the world can receive the things that we do. Hmm. But it all depends on when 4B is done with the edit because once the box is sent to us, I have to wrap it. I've got to do all the stuff to it to make it a pretty little thing that we can then give to the world. Mm -hmm. I do a written tutorial on the website of the entire process, which so includes links and pictures. Because if I wasn't out there doing it, like, I don't know how you did it. I have to put it on YouTube and do all of the back end metadata that no one ever gets to see. And apparently this work requires the use of two smartphones. Yes. It does. <laughs> like there's so many little intricacies that all go together. Google Trends, thumbnails, a lot of spell check. At 11 o'clock, the world will get our pretty little package. Like, are you guys interested in seeing more about like back end YouTube kind of stuff? Like what goes into that? Josh is really good at this stuff and really likes it. So I'm curious to see if you guys are into that kind of stuff. I spelled that wrong. And he's also great at spelling. You asked me to spell. You asked me to spell suede earlier. I suck so bad at spelling. I have written an entire like graduate level dissertation, and without spell check, they would have laughed me out of the room. Has his own head on his desk. What's going on while Bob turns stuff on the lathe? Well, there's almost always a 3D printer printing something. I'm assuming these are parts for R2. So is the slicer open on this computer? I would say so. Ooh. Also back there. That's game, but I'm not going to tell you anything else about that right now. We don't know everything about that right now. So another thing about I like to make stuff is we definitely have multiple projects going on at once. R2-D2 always happening in the background, but we've got a box full of RGB LEDs that are going to turn into something. And there's even Christmas lights on the back. Yeah, there's a project outside there's a project on the lathe there's a project in pieces i mean until this video comes out there's four and then once the video is posted there'll be three that are in process right now yep so the game code hey, look at that so what's happening here christmas tree and some math some lights game code so this is the very beginning of a project which is a giant christmas tree that is a matrix of leds that will have a video game on it if our scope creep doesn't get the best of us and it surely will. Hopefully you will have seen this, at least some form of this, because what this project initially was, all right, we have Christmas lights. Oh, what's this? Look at that. This. That thing sucks. Was a disaster. Growing up on my Christmas tree, we had this one ornament and we still do, and it still works, that had this motor on it. And it was like a little mobile of little baby angel things that would spin around and look all cute and whatnot. So we wanted to make a custom animated ornament that spins. So we bought some of these things on Amazon and they don't work. Both of them. They literally don't spin at all. They just kind of make gear grindy sounds. So somehow an animated Christmas tree ornament went from animated Christmas tree ornament to a wreath that does the same thing to back to a Christmas tree, I think back to a wreath. And now we're at a giant animated Christmas tree that's gonna go outside. Well, to be fair, this idea happened last year so remember true. last year we had the cat tree Christmas thing that we made on the CNC. Originally one of the ideas was to make a matrix of Christmas lights that you would put onto the Christmas tree itself That's so right. that you could sit in your living room and play video games on your Christmas tree. And so we're just taking this and just making it huge. Mm -hmm. What's happening again? More repetitive things, but this time it's for the Christmas tree thing. Clear out a spot right here. 
right there in a second. Carolyn Holes. <laughs> Three, four, five, thirty-eight, forty-one. I don't think you have enough room. So I didn't want this video to end without giving a shout out to our awesome people over at the Maker Alliance. The Maker Alliance is something that you can join if you want to support I Like To Make Stuff and everything we do. Not only does your support help us make awesome videos, but you get to get cool stuff. Like you can get a custom VIP badge with Bob Claggett's signature on it. That's terrible. This was a test, so don't look at that one. Uh, Josh, tell them a little bit more about the Maker Alliance. Maker Alliance is our way of giving back directly to people who support the channel. We make additional videos. Anthony makes some awesome stuff. We have a weekly video from one of the four of us here at I Like To Make Stuff. We have physical stuff, as you just saw. It's a whole lot of fun. If you want exclusive I Like To Make Stuff content, we have today. We have the uh, thing. All right, my arm's getting tired. Once a month, we have the online chat where a group of people get together and we hang out and we talk about what you're making, talk about what we're making. It is a lot of exclusive content from us to you as a thank you. Yes. And my arm's getting tired, so let's get back to the video. It's doing what it's supposed to do now. I had the ground connected from the board to the power supply of the LEDs, whereas if you were running all the LEDs directly in here, the grounds would all be connected, but they're kind of two separate systems. So I had them connected, and that was causing some sort of voltage drain or something. Mm. Disconnected, they seem to be working. Let's try the game out. Mm. There we go. Oh. That's what I'm talking ah. about. That's when it starts looking cool. We've hit a dilemma. This is super weird. All right, we started wrapping these lights around randomly, kind of going up and down. And all of the reds are right here. And all of the purples are right there. And all of the yellows are right here. The yellows are what blew my mind because it's not just a perfect row. It's the entire side. <laughs> That's so weird. It's not going to be as like mixed up as it needs to be. Maybe we need to turn around and go the other way. You said we could swap the bulbs out there, right? That's true. <laughs> that means when we take the lights off, it's going to be like <laughs> five blues in a row and then five greens in a row. There you have it. Always multiple projects going on here and I like to make stuff. I just wanted to give you a short glimpse of what it's like when that's going on. Much more of these behind the scenes videos to come. And Josh, wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Who? The people? Yeah. Merry Christmas. Have a happy holidays. Have a great Hanukkah, a great Kwanzaa, a great hanging out with your family. Thank you for allowing us to do with you. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. Have a great Easter and Valentine's Day. All of them. Beautiful.